Hi there. On this beautiful day, I thought I might just share with you a little bit um, about what happened uh, this morning session with <clears throat> Rich Kelly. Uh, and of course, I'm not a teacher, so uh, take whatever um, I say in that context because I'm just a student. Well, uh, we went over in the beginning about the foundation, about there's so much, there's a world of depth for learning uh, spinning hands and where to start uh, is something that needs to be definitely discussed and he wanted to layer it uh, systematically and that's what he was doing um, but first talking about a little bit about our alignment and how we need to maintain alignment and everything that we've been learning in terms of level one through four all has to do with this it's snowing right now as you can see okay and how we have to keep balance Okay, he used the idea of a, a weighted ball. And if you hold the weighted ball out, it's going to um, cause you to maybe lose balance. It's going to be very difficult to hold. But if you bring it close to you, it's going to become part of you. And that's really important because that will become part of your, your balance. It will become part of your, um, you know, it won't be difficult at all to move. And then uh, thinking about all the joints, the crosses that you have, as that ball of center. And so keeping to that bone, keeping to the neutral point, is the best best way of not moving past it. So not moving outside of uh, that bone to further to the yin or to the yang. So you just have to be careful for that. And then he used a, a carpet, I think of it like the magic carpet, where it was, uh, you know, if you pull on one part of it, if you pinch one part of this, you know, you outstretched a, um, a, a long, it was kind of like a rug, and other, another part sort of moved up. So think of that when all, everything originates from the Datian and Ming Men. So you shouldn't be moving your hand first, you should be moving your Datian first, and that is going to make your hand uh, do the movement that is required. It's actually kind of windy and really cold out here. But it's fine because I'm with you. So after that, he uh, talked about what was it? Um, yeah, our our elbow. Yeah, when we're totally relaxed and we're doing spinning hands, it's very important that we have our elbows down. So he had us feeling our our elbows and see if that was that weight was was nicely and and down in place. I am just doing a small video. Uh, and there was something else. Okay, and then after that, he thought he talked about the sphere and 45 degrees and 90, and how uh, if someone's going at you at 90 degrees straight at you, you're to curve it 45 degrees to lessen the force, but also maintain contact, um, and that's the most effective place. So you're 45 to their to their 90 going at you, and that's for everything that you're all the all the contact that you're um, with that you're doing with their opponent. In addition, you can think of your these circles or these balls as cones, and so each of the each of them have kind of like a circle that goes along with them. And the, from the shoulder root, you have all this space, and from the center, you have all this space. Um, and that is really important um, in terms of spinning hands and, and thinking about it. So think of your body as that sphere and and, and the ball and and uh, in your the joints as well, and also thinking about the cone that attaches to those balls uh, that have that can have their own rotation. Then uh, he talked about a Muay Thai fighter and how he might use all of his you know leg and and you know attack you, but afterwards he's off balance. Uh, you know after you know after a huge leg kick, he 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 has to recover after he uh, did that whole thing. So try not to go too far down or too far over because then you commit all, all your energy to that one side. So just go enough so that you hit the bone, not you know, neutrally, so that you can move in or move to a different place. Otherwise, you're way off balance. You're doing something else. You're pushing down too much. And then he talked about uh, a little bit about the um, coming from the root, like a, a sword and pushing the sword uh, downward from the top instead of from a different place. Um, so that's most effective. So when you're pushing from wherever it is, um, for example, the shoulder, you're pushing from the root of the shoulder in rather than just moving the hands because then you're going to get a lot more, I don't want to say torque, but a lot more power doing it that way. Oh, what else? Let's see. He also talked about uh, the idea of uh, the gap 
and how a lot of people from this position moving upwards leave a small little gap and how to fix that gap um, and I can't understand it entirely yet right now but I think it, it has to do with alignment and also coming from the root upwards um, and so I still have to seek clarification for that one he also talked about circles and how you shouldn't cut the circle when you're going over but rather sometimes circles can become more refined and I, I experienced this with uh, Sifu uh, Daria uh, Sergeyev and she was making the, sm the smaller circle as it went down and you can make the smaller bigger uh, also um, and that makes things much more refined so make sure that you don't cut across but you're, you can refine it by making it smaller <laughs> Is exactly the sound that she used when she was with me, and then uh, <laughs> it was a fun. It was a fun time. Uh, what happened after that? Uh, then, then we started to do an exercise with each other, and namely, it was a simple uh, go up and grab, go up and grab, uh, and you know, fuko grabbing the 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 skin uh, as you're going around, and it was not so much as you're going for your opponent but you this is just it was just a listening to yourself exercise um and seeing how you feel so he also had us close our eyes and and feel ourselves a little bit so that we were more in focus with our bodies and ourselves and what we were thinking so uh with that we had a break and that's where we are right now and we have wonderful uh pizza pie uh no cheese delicious uh bought by pat so thank you very much, Pat, uh, as well as Hoagies and some other stuff that this wonderful uh, Sifu Lens family has um, in store. And with that, I will leave you. Take care. Bye.